hi guys welcome back to the channel it's tuesday i am walking to work because i'm working today i don't normally do tuesdays anymore but i'm covering somebody else who has taken the tuesday off so this is just a one-off so we get a lovely look from walking to work big as you can see we're on a fist of men up the north promenade that's Northumberland Avenue going off down there I'm not sure if that's on the streets of Blackpool Service or not to be honest I don't think it is there you've got the Elgin Hotel and on the corner you've got Mark Kelly's and I am going to have to do my best to keep talking as I walk past there because there's somebody singing I don't think I would get copyrighted over a live performance in fact I'm pretty sure I wouldn't but I don't really want to take the risk so anyway let's just hustle on past Mark Kelly's as quick as we can actually I'm not going to worry about it I think the traffic noise will take care of any copyright claims because I don't think the algorithm will pick up any music at all and we'll just as we walk past Mark Kelly's we're going past Noel Avenue as well Noel Avenue is already on the streets of Blackpool Surveys I definitely remember doing that one but it's an older one again most of those are we've got a tram going past that tram is heading all the way on to Stargate but it's a long tram ride I am going to have to get a bus and tram pass for the week or for the month and do some tram and bus videos do a tram video from Stargate to Fleetwood it's going to be a long video I'd have to do it twice the first one facing the prom and the second one facing away from the prom as in facing away from the beach the go-kart track there I filmed that recently for one of my recent snippets and we've got the cabin lift there that no longer functions as a lift but it's still a famous and iconic building we've got another tram there just going past well it stopped but it will be going past when it starts up again I need now to get on the other side of the tracks oh, can I do that? yes there we go I just noticed somebody else was crossing then the driver kind of waved them across so that's fine you can just see there on the corner the Hotel Sheraton For that is Shaftesbury Avenue that very recently added to the streets of Blackpool Service. I think I did that one last week and there you've got the casino the Genting Casino whatever that means I guess it's a guy's casino looks like a little castle there though and here we can see the tram tracks I'll show you here they look like train tracks and that is where it changes because if we look there tram tracks move slowly across and you can see train tracks so let's keep walking a bit further down here and we can have a look at the illumination tableaus and I am sorry now I am aware of how noisy the traffic will be but I can't really walk on that side I've got to walk on this side for this bit you get to see that little turret there oh I am kind of warm after this video I'm going to stop and I drink like a pint of water 
that street I'm looking at now on the right is Carlin Gate. That is not already on the streets of Blackpool series. I really don't remember filming it. We've got Cello Grange there. That just looks like a private house. Same with the one next to it. Oh no, there's a little the hotel next door. All rooms, oh, all, all rooms on suite. So this looks like a little hotel. Or apartments complex. Either way there's no vacancies, it's full up. We're getting kind of away from the Hotelsville now and more into private residences. I mean for sure there are some more hotels, a couple more hotels going down here, but not that many. Now I think Ride the Lights is the 28th of this month. I'm trying to recall but I'm not sure. So that would mean the Loomis were being turned on. Would also explain why there's all these people looking at them and making sure they're working okay. That street is St Stephen's Avenue. And here we've got some illumination tableaus. Oh, Battle Brush. Boom, boom. Do you know, I don't have the words for how much I did not like Battle Brush as a kid. For some reason, he scared me. I don't know why, but I just found it really weird and bizarre. Did not like Battle Brush. Also, didn't like Ken Dodd's Diddy Men. Almost a little before my time, I just remember them as being when I was really little. But that little creepy We Are the Diddy Men song, oh, I could have scared me as a kid, and I found the Diddy Men really, really weird and scary. Same with Hartley Hair from Pipkins. Didn't like Hartley hair. Oh no. Just it looked like something from Pet Cemetery. You know, like a hair version of church. Have you ever seen that movie or read that book? Yeah, Hartley hair was pretty terrifying. Does anybody like Hartley hair? I never met anybody that did. From what I can remember, he was a bit of a slime ball of a character as well. Let's look at the illumination tablets anyway. Now we've passed the scary battle brush, we can look at these nice sunny faces as well, and we can look at the other tableaus. I am looking forward to doing Ride the Lights, but I'm still not sure I'll be able to film it because I've still not worked out a way how to put my camera onto my bike. I have a little mount, but it's not really steady and the videos always end up jumpy because I did some cycling videos not that long back and I ended up just not using them because, I don't know, I didn't think they came out that good. All oh, these tram tracks here look like they've had quite a recent makeover. Well, this bit here is just where the stop is really, isn't it? Lowther Avenue. Lowther, Lowther, Lowther I think it is. And that is opposite Lowther Avenue.
And you can see more of these tableaus here. Some of the hula ladies look like they're going to have little grass skirts and dancing once the lights come on. I feel like I've walked miles and miles and I've not really walked that far at all, probably about three miles at the most. So just three miles qualify as miles and miles. I guess it does because if you walk two miles, technically that's miles with an S, plural, because it's more than one mile. And then if you walk another mile, that would be miles and miles. If you walk four miles, that would be miles and miles. So I guess to say I've walked miles and miles, I'd have to walk at least four miles. So guys, we are coming up now right to the, I think the official end of Blackpool, is it? Where does Blackpool officially end? So I used to think it officially ended at the cabin lift, but I actually think it ends officially at that arch there, just beyond Admiral Point. But either way, none of that matters because that's the way we're walking today and I'm going to just walk as far as Admiral Point before I close this video. I have quite enjoyed my walk today. I'm glad I set off earlier and walked because I was going to cycle. I decided at the last minute I would walk over to the right there. We've got Pembroke Avenue. The Pembroke Hotel was probably named after that avenue. So I don't know what Blackpool significance Pembroke has. There's a tram speeding past. I know a few of the streets originally named after prominent families like Tilsley family yeah Tilsley Road, Tilsley Terrace, Tilsley School and the like foundling families of Blackpool is it Clifton's as well? it's in Clifton Drive I used to read up a lot on Blackpool history but you know with everything that's been going on in these last couple of years I've got literally got the memory of a goldfish and I just forget stuff I'm going to have to do a bit more reading I think but anyway now we're coming up to the old miners home and Admiral Point I am going to end this video because it is getting kind of long so thank you so much for watching please just like the video subscribe to the channel share my videos watch another video play one of my old playlists on your old phones or whatever I don't know thanks for watching this one anyway and I'll be back soon in the next one goodbye